matchup between Shale Summit and Jared Cannonier. All right, so the fight is now underway. On one side, you have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. It's gonna be interesting to see how long I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, big kick lands flush. Shale Sonna gets touched by that kick to the body. Oh, that's a nice strike. Quick entry to get Man, him on a single. Was a great single. Oh, oh. he left him over the top. What a fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Is pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Chael. Under two minutes now to go. Now he's chasing the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Side control now. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, round two. Big off punch land. Now he gets back to range. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such like toughness to even be on his feet right now. Over and over, he's landed this big body kick. Oh! Well, he continues to do a nice job here. Quick level change. Oh, he see. went single. Rotated head outside. This dude's going for a lot. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Sonnet. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. I mean, at this point, you just have to do something. You know, you have to maybe start trying to pull guard, grab him, pull him into you to try to change it and get him in your realm where you have the advantage. Shale Sonnet ground and pound from half guard now. Let's see if he can do some damage. Nice hammer fist. Nice. Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Nice. 
Just over two minutes to go in round two. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Well, he's got his back now. Shale's back in full mount. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. Attacking on bar. remain in the round. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land in beautiful ground and pound combination. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, two strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. And he comes through with a big knee. Cannoneer's head kick looked like that one was blocked. And they separate. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. It's very tricky to control that body. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful work with the knees in the clutch. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Shale's shot is blocked. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds. Oh! And just like that, the fight...